What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and finally, we are hearing that this week, they're planning on passing that reconciliation bill, the revised Build Back Better, known as now the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. However, we're hearing that there still is one obstacle that needs to be addressed, and uh, I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest with headlines and video footage coming out for this week. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, this is gonna be a chain reaction for an assortment of different things. Everything hinges on the passage of this bill. As we've heard, after it passes, whatever is not included, all of those provisions of the past that have been promised, stimulus checks, child tax credits, wiping out student loan debt, free childcare, free college tuition, all of an assortment of different provisions. We're hearing that they're likely going to be coming back in the form of either legislation or executive orders by the president right before these midterm elections. So we could be seeing an assortment of different things happening after the passage of this bill. And we're already getting word that President Joe Biden is lining up getting ready to do executive orders to address the student loan debt, wiping out $10,000 of student loan debt. Now also heard Bernie Sanders is brought back to the table. $200 per month increases for Social Security, and we're hearing that it's likely going to be needed with the way inflation is going. Just the cost of living increase, they said, is going to need to be $175 per month for those on those fixed incomes. Now, you guys, I'm going to keep you up to date on that, but also wanted to mention that uh, I have been up since... 2 a.m. this morning. I was working all night because today is August 1st and I wanted to have for you guys ready the comprehensive list of all the checks across the nation. Well, uh, I came across even more programs in the state of New York last night uh, and there was a ton that I have added. So um, I'm, bear with me. I checked the website this morning and there is almost, we're approaching 5,000 people that want to get access to all of these checks and provisions and uh, stimulus programs across the nation. And it's understandable because they're not uh, readily available. People don't know about them. I didn't even know about some of the ones I found last night and I just kept finding more and more of these government programs available uh, and I am assembling them into a comprehensive list for you. One of them expired yesterday in the state of Connecticut and also there's uh, other ones popping up left and right. There's ones that have expired that are actually being reenacted with new phases. I'm assembling them all into one easy place for you so you can get access to them, but bear with me. I'm going to try to get it done this week. I know that I said I was going to have it before August, uh, and I was trying, but it is quite the undertaking to look up all this information, um, pouring hours of time in. And again, uh, I've been up since two. I slept two hours last night, but you guys, I want to get this ready for you. So if you are not on the waiting list to get access to this, get ready. I'm going to try to have it out this week. Uh, it's going to be www.reliefroadmap.com where you can go put in your email so that way you can be notified once this is ready. I'm going to get this out to everybody so you can have access to everything across the nation. So keep an eye out for that here very soon, you guys. Just wanted to mention that for you very quick. But now, moving along, let's dive into these headlines and get you caught up as to what's going to be happening this week with the reconciliation bill. So, take a look, you guys. As Manchin pushes for a speedy passage of the New Deal, cinema stays quiet. That is right. So this week they want to get this done, but we have not yet heard from Kirsten Cinema, and she has not confirmed that she is on board with the passage of this bill. And keep in mind, they need every single Democratic senator, all 50 of them, on board to pass it with a majority vote through the process of reconciliation. Take a look. This week, Senate Democrats race to finish the tax and climate package if cinema signs on and all eyes turn to cinema as Democrats face a week that could transform Biden's presidency. This could be pivotal. Now, take a look very quickly, you guys. Just want to read the intro of this. Senate Democrats are aiming to pass a major spending bill this week that includes funding for climate change, health care, and tax increases on corporations. The deal was unexpectedly struck last week by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and a key centrist, Senator Joe Manchin, giving Democrats optimism that they'll have a robust agenda to to run on in the competitive races that are going to be happening with these midterm elections this fall. Now, while Manchin appeared on five Sunday programs to defend the deal and call for its passage, another centrist who holds a swing vote in the 50-50 Senate, Senator Kirsten Sinema, whom Democrats consider a difficult negotiator, has been quiet about whether she'd vote for the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 released on Wednesday. So you guys, 
I've got some video footage for you so you can hear it for yourself, where things stand with the passage of this bill, where Kirsten Cinema stands, what we're going to be seeing unfolding here. As I mentioned, stimulus checks, child tax credits, social security increases, all of those provisions, they're all hinging upon this bill. They're all going to be lining up right after, as we've heard the president say, he wants to see legislation passed. He wants bipartisan agreements or partisan agreements. He doesn't want to do executive actions just quite yet. He wants them to be the last resort to provide provisions right before these midterm elections. So we're going to dive right in, take a look at this. But before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, the content, all the information, just smash that like button for me. Just takes a second. Helps me out a ton with the channel. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not come join the Ram fam? All you got to do is very quickly hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth, personal finance, more videos and content coming on that channel as well to help you navigate these turbulent economic waters that we are currently experiencing. And like I said, if you haven't already, go to www.reliefroadmap.com, put in your email, get on the waiting list as I'm going to be releasing here very soon a list of every check in the nation, cities, counties, states, a lot of people think there's only the fourth federal level check of $2,000 they're waiting for. No, there are tons of checks and many are only available for a limited amount of time. You got to apply, you got to know about it, you got to know where to go and you got to be eligible and it can be very difficult and I want to make it as simple as possible here on the channel so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right into the video footage and take a look at what's happening this week. Well, so Hill, I want to start with you because I am really interested in the exact timetable that we are working with here to get this deal across the finish line. Are we talking next Wednesday? Are we talking next Thursday? And then what is the significance of this massive legislation? Well, Simone, to the first part, the goal of Senator Chuck Schumer is to have it done this week. Most likely, it's going to be later toward the end of this week. It's a long process. you got to go through that so-called voterama. It's usually overnight. Republicans will offer a whole bunch of amendments. A lot of them will be trolling amendments designed to put Democrats in a tough position. But it's unlikely to scuttle this bill because Manchin, for the first time, appears uh, genuinely committed and bought in and, frankly, uh, quite feisty in, in defense of this bill that he has negotiated. Now, in terms of, of the significance, it's a huge deal. Uh, it is what a certain current president once called a BFD, because for the first time it would allow Medicare, empower Medicare to negotiate drug prices, uh, something that has about 80 plus percent support uh, among the general public. It would be the, the biggest investment in uh, mitigating climate change that Congress has ever done in U.S. history. And that is a low bar. But $369 billion uh, is hardly chump change on this front. So it's uh, finally, for the first time, I think Democrats feel, uh, after many months of despondency, that these agenda items that President Biden and many Democrats campaigned on uh, appear to be left for dead. They feel like they have some wind at their back, and they feel like they have a robust agenda to campaign on. Politically, the most important thing uh, to that end is the issue of inflation has been uh, a big, big problem for Democratic incumbents heading into a midterm election wh where they already have history going against them. This gives them an argument, something to communicate to voters and say, this is what we're doing to try to fight inflation. They had struggled with that. They have struggled with that for many, many months, um, whether it's drug pricing and also the three year ACA funding. It'll prevent a premium hike notices for millions of Americans from landing, which would have happened in October, right before an election, could have been devastating mm. uh, for Democratic incumbents. Uh, they avoided that. So if you put all this stuff together, Democrats believe. Uh, and finally, uh, the, the climate change piece, it's important also to get young people out, but also in places like coastal California, where I am, the district of Katie Porter, uh, nearby Mike Levin. Climate funding is, is uh, important, not just to young people, but also independents and, and moderate voters, because they see and feel the impact of climate change here. I agree with you. I also think it's important for places like Arizona, Nevada. I'm thinking about Lake Mead. We could go on. This is, I, I personally think, quite significant. Uh, Katie, let me bring you in here because you have some new reporting um, from Insider. Well, there's new reporting from Insider. And, and let me just read it to you. It says, quote, the most carefully negotiated deals can still be appended in an environment where no margin of error exists. Manchin is on a collision course with Arizona Senator Kristen Sinema over a small part of the bill. The pair disagree on carried interest a loophole in the tax code that mostly benefits wealthy investors and hedge fund managers. Uh, not to even talk about COVID, right? Senator Manchin has been out with COVID this weekend. You do need people in town in the United States Senate to vote. Talk to me about the cinema factor here. What should we be watching for in the days ahead? 
Oh, we should be watching very closely, Simone. Uh, this is a key moderate we're talking about and tax hike skeptic. And so when we're talking about so many um, loophole, like the loophole, the carry interest rate loophole, and we're talking about what that may, might mean to kind of weasel this in, if you will, if you will, into this bill, that's a huge deal. I, I mean, this is something cinema has uh, backed down off of in the past and, and has actually made a, claim, made a claim that you will not uh, back anything that would raise tyke, uh, tax hikes if, if it's pick and choosing which way it goes. I mean, this is a hard deal. And even we know that in the past, Democrats have actually pulled back uh, from certain raising uh, raising rates on high income earners. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, we're watching cinema. We're waiting to hear what she said. We haven't had any really concrete feedback uh, after the, the deal was made public. Uh, but what we can expect is that what we're, we're hoping is that with this tight schedule that we have and going into the August recession, which is a key time for campaigning, is that we can get all Democrats on board to go forward and say this is the deal we're bringing to the table. Now, Cinema and Manchin has, have been those two that have held up many deals and many iterations of the of Biden's big economic agenda. Uh, but what we're really hoping for is that Cinema can come to the table and say these are the places that I can stand with to make sure that all the other provisions of this deal, uh, as Sahil just said, when we're looking at what the impact of it is, there has to be some space to move forward. And in in mm. this case. Um, the negotiations need to come to a head at this point. That's what we're seeing with cinema. And so we're going to be watching closely to see what she says and if she's going to move in the right direction. We expect Schumer to be speaking. Uh, we expect more um, you know, folks coming together in the next week or so. Uh, but that's the hope right now. We're all, all all eyes are basically on her. I am definitely watching, okay? I, I asked uh, Amy Klobuchar, has she heard from her? And she said she's reviewing the bill. So we remain to see what she says. There you have it, you guys. And I would agree, all eyes right now are on the Senate and Kirsten Cinema, And we're going to be seeing what unfolds here. We're definitely going to be hearing from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. He's likely going to be meeting with Cinema this week as they're trying to get it passed through. They have got to get her on board to get all 50 votes to pass it through with the majority vote in the Senate. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date every step of the way so that way you know what's going on. But with that being said, you guys, that is the latest. Thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget very quickly, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. All you're going to do is very quickly hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. If you haven't already, add your email to www.reliefroadmap.com. I'm going to be releasing that comprehensive list so you don't miss out on on anything and consider joining my second channel Steve Ram Finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance more content coming to help you with growing wealth and navigating these turbulent waters of our economy but with that being said you guys once again thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one take care god bless this is Steve